Welcome back. So we're going to use Git inside uh, to share to share the actual code that we're going to build as we move forward. And I'm actually going to tag each version that I put up there so you guys can get a specific tag for the specific video. Right now we're at version 0.01 and I'll show you how to get to that version. But first I want you to install Git on the machine and it's it's different from Mac and Windows. Mac already have it available probably or else you can go and grab it here on downloads but on Windows you have to install it. There's nothing to do. So I'll grab git scm.com. I'll find this Windows installer and you'll figure out I'll take the Windows um, 64 bit here. You can also go and get a GitHub desktop client if you want to. Uh, it's up to you. I'm going to grab this guy. Oh man, I pressed a lot of time there. Um, I have videos about this. If you look at the series, I'll put them in the description so you guys can get there quickly. Let me just cancel these ones. I just spammed. Uh, it's going to download this Git client from my machine and I'm going to run it. And I pretty much, it's just going to place it inside the command prompt so that I can use it with this uh, git setup and it's also give me a git bash which is another way to work with it so let's just I'm just stepping through here I'm sorry but I'll stop when there's something important this step do you want to use git bash only or do you also want to add it to the command prompt oh yes let's um, add it to the command prompt I'll just keep check windows start commit unix style in line endings as it is I'll use minty that's uh, just a prettier emulator I will um, keep the basics here as well and I really don't care about any of that so let's just install it and see what happens so this is the final page it pops up and asks me if I wanna launch git bash I don't want to so I'm just going to finish here and I'm going to open this and launch the command prompt and just write git dash dash version to see if git is installed and yes we got a git version now let's just try it for the fun of it to also have a look at the node.js command prompt write git Dash, dash version then you can choose what you want to use also have git available there now and let's try one more thing I'm just going to open our beautiful uh, web storm and let's see if we can actually use git from in there so let me show you the terminal in there so when web storm opens I'm going to open I'm going to find my project here the one that we just built and in my case it's under work it's under course planner my version I'm going to say ok and I'm going to let it launch here. So now that it's up and running, I'm going to open the terminal inside WebStorm because they also have a terminal. So Control Shift A, and then I'm going to write terminal. And this is all in the video that we talked about earlier. And it says Terminal Alt F12 if you want to. I'll just open this guy and it pops up here as a terminal. So now I can also write Git from here hopefully. And it's also available here. So let's end this lesson. Now you know how to install Git. Next we'll try and clone with Git. And of course, the terminal is, is available on the Mac and so is the Git. Uh, it's also available on the Mac if you don't already have it installed on the Mac. So let's try and clone this directory. And you just also keep your old, your own version. I called this my version because I want you guys to have both a version of your own and then the one we're going to clone from my GitHub repository. I'll show you why in a second. See you next time.